आज के इस वीडियो में आपका स्वागत है और आज हम शेयर कर रहे हैं एक फॉर्मेट और प्लानिंग ऑफ क्वालिटी ऑब्जेक्टिव्स तो जैसा कि आप स्क्रीन पर देख सकते हैं एक फॉर्मेट आपको दिखाई दे रहा है और राइट हैंड साइड में कॉर्नर में ऊपर में ये यहाँ पर इस फॉर्मेट का नंबर दिया हुआ है और नंबर है डॉक नंबर दैट मीन डॉक्यूमेंट नंबर क्यू एस पी क्वालिटी सिस्टम प्रोसीजर जो हमने प्रोसीजर बनाया है उसी का पार्ट है ये फॉर्मेट और सिक्स पॉइंट ऑब्लिक सिक्स पॉइंट टू ये हमारा क्लॉज नंबर है और ऑब्लिक जीरो वन दैट दैट मीन्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट फॉर्मेट ऑफ दैट प्रोसीजर एंड एफ जीरो वन फॉर्मेट जीरो वन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट फॉर्मेट and issue number is 01 and dated it is written as february 22 2022 you can change this date and put the date on which you are making the uh, format now on the top of it you can see we have put name of the organization then the section or the site for which uh, the quality objective is planned and here is the title planning of quality objectives and then you have to write down in this box there is a table in this box you have to write down the quality objective what is the quality objective for example enhancement of customer satisfaction if you are making uh, quality objective on increasing the uh, customer satisfaction the title could be enhancement of customer satisfaction or uh, any other title which you want to give uh, say on time completion of the project or whatever title you want to give the title will come here in this space then the next is details of planning now in the details of planning we have to uh, as you can see the baseline has to be mentioned now baseline as we discussed it could it will depend on you have to look back at the period your plan target for the period that has to be mentioned here if you are doing yearly planning you can go for say year wise say uh, year 2021 what was the baseline what did you achieve during 2021 that will come as a baseline here okay that uh, in case of customer satisfaction it could be say 80% if you have achieved you will put here 80% and then plan target for year 2022 you will put here as uh, maybe you want to increase it by 2% or so so 82% will come here as the plan target for the year 2022 and then the responsibility who is responsible now the person who is responsible for uh implementation monitoring and everything for this particular uh quality objective uh, his designation will come here he could be a manager level person or a supervisor level person then uh, next will come the inputs required what inputs you will need so those inputs have to come here and then the action plan uh, how you are going to uh, take action in this so periodically you can put the uh, time frame here and you can write down your action plan in this space and then comes next column of reviews so you are supposed to review your quality objectives periodically and the reviews will, will come here so it could be first review here and you can put a date and write down in the review what you wish to write down how much you have achieved and if you feel you have not achieved been able to achieve the target then you have to write down why you have not been able to achieve and what is the action plan for uh, the further period and this is how you are going to fill this format for planning of the quality objective and then it will be prepared by it will be signed by the person who prepared it and approved by will be signed by the person who has approved the this particular quality objective 
so this is how the format of the quality uh, quality objective planning may look like you can have a different format but uh, all these details which i have mentioned in this particular for format they should come uh, normally uh, it is the objective which will come and then the details of planning what is the baseline baseline has to be mentioned here and then the plan target for the year for the current year and then the responsibility this planning you could do even quarter wise so in the previous quarter you can put the uh, dates here for the previous quarter and put the baseline for the previous quarter what you achieved and then the plan target for the current uh, quarter so dates for the current quarter can come here and then again all these columns as we discussed responsibilities inputs required action plan so 1 2 3 4 5 5 whatever step by step actions have to be taken by you that will that have to come here and then your reviews and this uh, has to be signed by prepared by whoever has prepared maybe a supervisor or engineer and approved by maybe the divisional head or sectional head will approve it so that is how the uh, format will look like i hope you are able to see it clearly and you can plan it accordingly uh, and use this format if there is anything which is not very clear in this format you can write your comments below this video and i'll try to explain it to you so thank you very much for watching my videos and if you like the, my videos please give me a thumbs up give me a like and also uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that as and when i load my videos the information will reach you without any delay so thank you very much namaste and we see you on next sunday uh, with a video on the next uh, class okay bye bye namaste